Delivery. Okay. All right. Sorry about that, you guys. Uh, all right, you guys. My name is Brandy. I am the owner and artist behind Brush by Brandy, and you guys are live here on my Facebook and Instagram pages. Uh, my husband, Sean, is behind the camera to help us answer any questions. We are going to do some painting tonight. We paint here live every Thursday evening with you guys at 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, so last week we started a cedar chest project and that's what I've got right behind me. We put the base coat of paint on. We're going to do the second coat and then we're going to start decorating this tonight. So that's where we're going with it. But I wanted to show you one step first while I got it, flip, it flipped on its back. Um, last week we also put some stain on the top. I'm on my third coat of stain right now on the top. I want it nice and dark so it's, I can't clear coat it yet. You can put a clear coat over oil-based stain, but it is recommended that you wait at least 72 hours after you apply the oil-based stain to put your uh, water-based top coat on. So now I've got to wait since I just did another coat today. Um, so what I wanted to show you while I got this flipped on its back is we're going to put the legs on it. And so let me show you guys the legs that I'm working with. So, hey, Sherry. Um, I, had shown, I had shown you guys different legs last week, but I ran into a problem in that I can only find three of them. I know I have four. I do not know where the fourth one is. I, I don't know. It, they were on a previous piece of furniture, so I'm 100% sure there is four of them, but I can only find three. Even Sean came out and helped me and like tore, tore my, this place apart. my hardware stuff. I don't know. I, I think it fell behind my workbench, but then we looked back there. And so anyway, not worth the effort. We're just going to put different legs on it. So these are the ones I'm going to use instead, but because I just changed, that's why these are not painted yet. Um, but I'm going to show you how these get put together. So this is a set that I ordered off. Where are these from? These are from Amazon. Um, and I'm going to show you. These came with a hardware kit, which I always, when I look for raw legs like this, I look for ones that have hardware. Because it's not worth getting the legs for $4 cheaper and then having to go to the hardware store and spend another $10 on finding all the hardware you need to actually put these in. So these came with a block. On the top like this so I'm going to show you how I'm going to put these together and then we're going to put one on this base here <gasps> um, so you can see it go on so this, sorry that's the extra money you paid for for sound yeah. effects <laughs> this cedar chest had skirting on the bottom and um, I put, took it off these holes here just held it on by screws and then it had a bead of glue which is this kind of rough area I'm not going to worry about this glue it's going to be on the bottom I did paint it so that the color goes all the way down you could, uh, you know, take a razor blade or something and just scrape the rest of this glue off or sand it off. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, now, I hate to tell you, I'm going to step away for a super quick second because I'm like Ray Charles right now. I need to go get my glasses. Okay, but you got to hand me all the drills. Then. Dr drill me. Drill. I was okay. Out and about. Yeah, you're good. Sorry. Our, um, we have a son who rows for a crew team, and he rows, uh, well, it's five nights a week. He only goes four nights a week. Um, cause he also volunteers for a junior sheriff program. This is our oldest son. So four nights a week, Sean has to drive him. It's about 30 minutes away, drive him to crew and then drive him back. And he gets here about four seconds before I'm supposed to go live. Okay. So they come with a block like this. And the first thing I'm going to use on this is a paddle bit. And this has a, a sharp ed edge on it. And that's because, um, when I try to just use a regular drill bit it wasn't going far enough into the wood I needed to use the paddle bit so the first thing I want to do is drill out this leg all right I'm back are we done all right the sweet smell of burning wood is what I get from that you guys see the smoke but I got into my uh, leg a little bit. That's what I needed to do is get that hole started. And then this was the, this is the bit for the, um, that hole. Do you have the one for the first hole used? Try All right, on. let me switch this bit out. That one's too big. So I'm gonna put this smaller bit in my drill gun. So all I'm pulling these from, I guess let me show you guys how I choose the size of the drill bit. You want to show me that? that <laughs> we just throw them around the room. So since I'm doing all this, I can show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, so this is just a, a, a standard drill bit set. Okay, it's got a variety of sizes. I always recommend having one of these. It's super convenient to just have every size on hand, no matter what you need. And I'm going to use two different drill bits tonight. 
So I'm going to start out with the smallest one. And what I'm using to, um, where's one of those grommets? Throw, throw my stuff around. Okay, what I'm using to size this bit <laughs> is I basically take, this is the grommet that I need to put into this wooden leg. And I'm, I, I use this as my guide for what size bit I need for this. You don't want to go larger than this because then I'll put, I won't have any tooth in my wood for this um, screw and grommet to go into. But I use this to size my drill bit. So this is the one I used. Right Tina's there. right. You need a new blade as for keep that smoking down. Oh yeah. The only problem is all my other bits. This is the random because all my other bits have a screw thread on the end of them and it'll go all the way through that yeah. dang piece of wood. Like I said, Sean showed up here about five seconds ago and we just got out all these bits and this is like this is what we got out of the toolbox like it, rapid fast. So it is what it is. Um, okay, so now I got my hole started and my regular uh, drill bit will work now. Because now technically that's a, it's a metal bit, but it's okay for what we need it for. Because you're basically just upsizing the hole. Okay, yes, that's all I needed is I really needed it just for the start. And now I could screw in and get the actual size hole that I need for this screw in grommet. This needs an Allen wrench to go in. Right next to where you were. Try to set you up. Okay, so this is, it needs to go into that hole and that's my screw is going to thread into this. All of this hardware oh. came with these legs. Baby Eden's watching. Oh, hi, baby Eden. You guys, Eden is my, um, is my niece. She is six months old and this is gonna be for her. Okay, so now I'm using my Allen wrench and I'm just screwing this into the hole that I made and this is going to be threading for the screw. I'm gonna get this in here nice and tight. I might even hand it to Sean to get a little bit tighter. Cause you know, that's like meta for opening like jelly jars and stuff. What? Yeah, that's your whole purpose. I don't even life. touch jelly jars. This is awkward. Okay, and while he's working on that, we wanna put now a hole in here. You don't need this anymore. So that is my grommet went inside my, my wooden leg. Okay, and then it's got these two-sided screws with it. And I just am going to thread this right into the top of that leg. Okay. So now this is ready to go into my um, piece of furniture. What? Maureen? Am I reading this? What? Lisa Marie? Oh, what? Huh? I saw something. There was a little bit. Oh, she had a heart, a heart attack, I think. But this one's Maureen saying that she's gone. Oh, did she pass away? Wow. I saw that she had had a heart attack, but I, I, I also read she came out of it, though. Oh, Maureen says, yeah, she passed away. Wow, that's crazy. Um, She's young. Where did the legs come from? Sorry to move past uh, that. These are from Amazon, and I do have them in my Amazon shop. Um, I actually like this company, uh, this company I got them for. It's like, I'm going to probably say it wrong. It's like Wei, Wei Chan or something. It is an Asian company, but they, they are solid wood feet, and they have a bunch of different designs. So this is my second cedar chest that I've done for my sister. And my other niece has a similar set of legs, but these are just slightly different. So I like that they've got a few, meaning that uh, my other niece has floral and this one has an acanthus leaf on the front of it. So they have a few different designs that you can choose from. What is that called? Acanthus. Oh, yeah. Hi. hey, I'm learning new stuff here. Okay, so now I need to put a hole into the bottom of this cedar chest. So I'm going to use a slightly, actually I'm gonna start with my paddle bit again, but I'm gonna use a larger drill bit because the hardware that I need to put in the bottom of here, now I need this grommet, this guy here, is going to go into the bottom of my cedar chest. So I need to sink this in. I'm using these staples that are in here as a guide because they were in the same place on the other side, and so I'm going to use that to uh, gauge that my legs are going in the same place on both sides. Okay, so I got my bit changed out to a larger size. I'm gonna put this leg in on this side just so I can see the placement so that I can make sure that when I'm putting this other one in, it's going in the same place. Is this where I come in with my PSA? So I already did this side right here. And I'm, I do need to paint these, you guys. These will be painted. It's just like Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so I'm gonna put these in here. I just wanna make sure that when I put my other one in, they end up in roughly the same space under this skirting. All right, so that, that's gonna be my guide. 
So I'm going to use again these staples as my guide. I'm going to start with that paddle bit again just to start my hole. And I'm using this seam right here. Okay, so if, sorry to interrupt, if your piece was longer, would you use a middle cleat or a middle foot? Um, yeah, I mean, you see a lot of dressers that do have a support right here. Uh, it also depends on what the weight Wait. is like in the yeah. center. Some of them have sorry, support guys. built into the actual frame inside the piece. So it always depends on the piece. You know, this is a cedar chest. It doesn't come with one. It's pretty, it's built well, up because, in the bottom. Yeah. This is not just a piece of like uh, thin board here. This is actually... You know, it's got full cedar on the bottom of it. I'm not worried on this piece. Um, yeah, if you are putting legs on a piece that didn't originally come like that, look at where the original support was for it, okay? So for this, my original support was the skirting that was on the outside. That's what it rested on. So I know it never had support in the middle. If you're doing it on a dresser, if it had skirting and the original support was out here, you can be pretty certain that you're okay putting the support back where it existed before. Uh, do you mean putting one right in here? Again, I would look for where the support was on the original piece, uh, how long it is, and if, it, if you feel like it's not built up enough, you could add another foot in the middle here. I don't know what that would look like on this one. Yeah, I guess you could, it would work. It wouldn't be too weird looking. Well, only because those are formed on a 90, so the design only carries on a... Yeah, you could do a, a you know, if it was like a round leg or something, it's it might make more sense. But, yeah. you know, I would look for where the original support is on the piece and try to mimic that, but don't leave it without support if it doesn't have it. Every piece is different, so you really got to flip it on its back and look at the construction of it when you're going to add legs. Most of them that I've added legs to, I'm looking at you to, like, agree with me or not, but most of them that I've added legs to... How the support I'm taking off is on the outer edges and I am putting support back on on the outer yeah. edges. I've never had to add one in the center. Yeah, you'll always know, especially on old furniture, because you'll see even if somebody's messed with it and taken it off, you'll see an indentation of the framework underneath or something that like a one by four, something was there previously. Okay, and so I, I started this with my paddle bit and now I'm going to come in. I'm going to brace the piece a little bit so that I don't push it away and I'm going to drill this hole out. Or not. Still had it on reverse from loading the bit. Sorry. It's not. Pull it. It won't go. You want to go at it? It might, it might be that. Oh, I'm gonna give the camera a weird shot of me if I do that. So. <laughs> Yeah, because that's so it, that bit is not going to dig into the wood. It's rounding it out. That's not going to drill into. Oh, you're going backwards. No, it's not. It might be deep enough though. If all else fails, get help. <laughs> no, you're fine. Thank you. Okay, and then I've got these little cleats here and these just hammer in now that I've got that hole drilled. But if it was too loose, then those would just seat right in. This has a little bit of, uh, it's a little bit tight on these and that's what I want. Okay, so I got those nice and seated in there. Again, this, this comes with all the screws and everything I need. It's so worth it to look for ones that have all your hardware. So three screws go in each of these. Oh, turning a chest into a, a buffet. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. That was why the question was asked. Oh, I, I mean, it's always hard to imagine because every piece is different. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think there's any one size fits all answer for yes, you would need to or no, you wouldn't. You also got to be careful with older furniture that uh, if there wasn't one and you go to add it, now you're going to, it's going to get kind of wonky. It won't sit level. Go ahead. I'm sorry. It's going to get loud. Huh? I'm not stripping my screw out. Huh? That is my screw. Oh, out. yeah, that's my favorite sound. <laughs> that's up there with my favorite I have, commercial. I have three of these to do, by the way. All right, last one, guys. Sorry. And go. All right. So that is basically it. So then my leg, I've got my screw on the top of here. 
and this just screws right in now. <laughs> what, Yvonne? No notifications. What the hey? Yeah, 200 times I have to screw this in. Um, you also want to make sure that we're, so anyway, you get the point. It needs to keep screwing in there. I've got to take it back out anyways because I'm going to take these off to paint them. And then I also need to do the two on the back end. So the two on the front matched up because um, I used the same point of reference to gauge where I put my holes uh, measure first. Yeah, that's my best, my best uh, suggestion. So I'm going to take these back out, but I wanted to show you how those went on, why it's worthwhile to uh, look for the hardware. Uh, the screw stayed there instead of here. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to leave it in there for now, and I'm going to take this one out because we're going to flip this back onto its... Um... Oh, thank you. Pretty legs. Oh, you mean... <laughs> my bad. Eric got all excited. <laughs> yeah. Thought the compliments were yeah. coming. That's what ladies like. A nice set of legs on a man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. A dainty. Yeah. Okay. Are, yeah here, they are on. pretty legs. They are. You want me to... Would you like me to help you? I have a bunch of sawdust all over my... Would you like me to help you? I have to get weird in here. Yeah, I, can, yeah. I can do this because this is Okay. 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 Right. So now we are going to put some paint on this. So last week, um, when we left this cedar chest, we did the base coat on here. And I'm going to come back with it, and I'm going to show you I saved one side that I don't have a second coat on. So the only problem with trying to do multiple steps, i got to move the piece around. This is kind of long, so it's an awkward shape. Okay, and I got gold leaf and stuff all over the back. Uh, that's usually what I get. You crack me up, Sean. Yep, that's, <laughs> okay. that's about all I get. So the front of this does have two coats on it right now, but I left this side with just one, just my base coat on here. So you can see the difference of when we take it from one coat to two. So we're going to go ahead and put the final coat on just this one side right here and have some, I had to do a touch up on it earlier. So I have some brushes I was using. Save these. That um, set of legs also came with these little felt pads. So I'll put these on. Like but frisbees. these are nice for wood, uh, for wood floors and things like that. Or one of my kids, there's an Oreo cookie. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> this tastes cruel. <laughs> Just wait till it passes. All right. So do you, I don't know. Do you guys feel like you would take on putting on a new set of legs like that? It, that did take three different drill bits, but it wasn't overly hard, right? Um. Okay. So my three colors that I'm using on this are Wise Owl Paint in black, ivory, and black cherry. Those are my three colors. This is just black. Man, do I hate this container. I, <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys. I was every, like, why is that until out? Until this container of black is gone, I'm going to keep telling you how much I hate this container. Uh, you need some mud, mud Podge while you're at it. Yeah, I just squeezed a little bit of the black onto a piece of cardboard. Um, I've got my ivory here. And then this is a mixed color. That's black, ivory, and black cherry all mixed together and that's my base color so i'm going to i have four brushes out i have all these are all four klingon brushes all four are the s50 and that's because i'm going to use three of these which is going to be one for each color and then i'm going to use one for my blending and i actually like the s50 even for blending so this is kind of a good all-around brush this is just a single coat on here Okay, so I can still see Sorry. my gray primer underneath a little bit. It's a little streaky in spots. It's not perfect. Um, this is not a great blend. I've got you know more white right here that I can see. Again, my primer down here. So I'm. This is the stage where I want to perfect this all. I did gold leafing and it's all over my carpet. And I noticed so that. It's stuck on my the back of my furniture piece. Right this now. is how it rolls at Brush by Brandy. Yeah, I need to clean it. And now I got wood shavings all over my carpet too. Okay, so um, the first thing I'm going to do is give myself a little mist of water just to kind of lubricate the surface so that my brush glides. And I'm going to start with my middle color, which is a mix to give myself a little bit of water. Um, and the reason I use the water on, on this coat a little bit more than my base coat is I don't need as much paint. 
And when I started brushing, I felt my, my brush wasn't gliding. It was kind of sticking. And so that told me that I need a little bit more water. And so what I've done here is I just kind of outlined a basic frame, kind of a circle, kind of an egg. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Speaking of eggs. Yeah, an egg would be worth like $29.95 right now, huh? Man, I bought eggs the other day. Unless it was like 10 bucks for the carton. I'm not investing in gold. I I'm usually, investing I usually in get them at Costco, but I was at the grocery store and I needed some. So I grabbed them and I looked at the shelf and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Costco's not too bad. All right, we need chickens. And the cage-free organic ones were cheaper than huh? the light. What? Yeah. Like the, the condo ones, chicken the ones was that own a condo and yeah, yeah have an HOA. Those huh. those chickens are giving oh, out cheaper eggs right now. So I've left this spot in the middle, but now that I've got my frame shaped out, I'm gonna add a little bit of water and just give myself a super thin coat even there. I'm just evening out. I got a couple of water spots, and while my paint is still wet, I'm gonna take care of that. All right. So in the middle, I've got a super thin coat of just that uh, my base color. I dipped into my ivory paint. Let me show you about how much I got, how much I want. It's super little paint on just the tips of my bristles. And I'm gonna work that in here. The other option is you can take and you can mix this color in a separate dish if you wanted to, if you're more comfortable. I'm basically creating a mixture on my furniture piece. Okay, and then I'm going to brush this in to that wet paint that's outside the edges of it. Okay, and I'm looking at, I feel like I want like the tiniest bit more ivory. I want a little bit more contrast there, and so I'm just going to do it again. Is my head blocking? Because I feel like I'm at a weird angle. Yeah. Oh, so you move further into it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my head isn't blocking. I want to make sure Yeah. I want to make sure. Get in there. Okay, and then I'm going to brush it into that paint around, and I went horizontal with it. And I'm going to go vertical. I'm using a really soft hand. Okay. Really big and that head. gets me a pretty even center, That's... and now I want to work these edges around here. Yeah, so your primer was Wiseau Primer. My primer was Wiseau Primer in light gray, and we did that last week. We put a base coat on this last week, and that's where you saw the primer get covered up. But it's under there, and with just one coat, it, the coverage is pretty good, but it's not perfect. Man, I'm really digging. Sorry that you're painting it. I'm really digging the cedar look on the inside. <laughs> yeah. I really like it. Yeah, my legs look good. They look, I, I'm not worried about the legs. Well, I'm always, talking about I, the inside. I always want to make sure they didn't like come through or anything, but it, I, <laughs> I nailed it. Always check your work, right? So I got a little bit more white. I want a little bit more contrast there. So I can add it slowly, depending on how much or how little. Again, if you want to mix it in a dish and then you've got a defined color, I'm just kind of eyeballing what I kind of have on the rest of the piece. Okay, so once I feel like I've got that pretty good, I'm gonna come back with a clean, dry brush and I'm gonna start working these together a little bit better. Oh, oh yeah. And I'm kind of just like feather dusting out. I'm going around where all, all the way around where these two colors meet up. Something that really helps me when I'm working like this and I can't tell how it looks, I'll put my phone on it, on video, or even take a still photo of it and look at the photo. And you'll be able to see spots sometimes that your own eye doesn't see looking at the piece. You know, I just want to throw a, a thanks out there for the compliments. We make the perfect couple <laughs> between soft hands and nice legs. <laughs> yes. Hello, ladies. All right, this sounds a little weird. I'm getting uncomfortable. 99 cents a minute coming right up. Yeah. All right, how does that look? Again, you guys can sometimes see, because I'm kind of sitting off to a side here, I would look at this, I would probably come back and look at it head on, catch it from different ways in the lighting. From where I'm sitting, maybe down here looks a little weird. I've got kind of a shadow. Sorry, this- Really, I just see a big head in the back way. Of my head, but I see, yeah, there was a line there. Okay, otherwise I kind of like the center of that. Okay, so now I've got these four corners that are untouched, I didn't do those. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to add my, uh, I didn't add any paint to my brush. This is just my uh, medium color, my main body color, which is that, it's a three color mix. And I'm just going to add a little bit, just so I have wet paint on here. And we're going to darken up these corners and that's going to be my third color in this blend. Give myself a little bit of water down here because my paint's kind of running or my brush is kind of running out of paint. Okay, and then I'm going to take another brush and this is where I'm going to add my black. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of black onto my brush. Not a whole lot because black will overpower a color really quickly. Whoopsie. Oh, it'll overpower that shirt you just <laughs> threw it on too. <laughs> that worked for me. And I'm just gonna give myself a little corner of black. You do not need a lot of this black. I've got wet paint on these corners. <laughs> Someday when I grow up, I'm going to be able to blend like you. She's 71. Don't grow up. It's a super raw deal. I She's promise 71. You. I keep telling my just kids this. I'm know. like, you guys, you don't understand. When you grow up, you just have to go to work and pay a mortgage. It's it's huh? absolutely a bad yeah, deal. It's, it's totally like, a raw deal. Like, enjoy that I just drive you to high school every day. Okay, so see, I didn't go all the way around this with the black. I just added it into those corners, and then I worked it into that little bit of wet paint that I had laid on. Now I'm going to come down here and get the corners on the skirting. My um, brush with my black had so little paint on it that I don't really need to come back with my clean dry brush because my black brush is almost clean and dry at this point. Okay, and then I'm going to use my brush for my main body color and just kind of blend in this skirting down here. And I'm going to turn this a little bit so I can look at it head on and see what I think So we can see more of it. in the back of your head. Yeah, because I'm, I, got, I did get a spot of my black right there. <gasps> That's okay. I'm just going to work it in. That paint is still okay. wet. So I'm kind of sitting at a different angle now and I'm just going to brush out these edges a little bit more. and switch my brush to my main body color. Super light hand, like all that's hitting my piece is the very tips of my bristle. And I go kind of fast with it because then I, I can't, you can't put pressure as you're going fast. It's like a wisping motion. It doesn't work well under pressure. But if you wanted to see exactly the pressure that I put on my brush, I am going to be teaching at the Redesign with Prima Restore or the the store in Temecula, California. Whoa, these are good segues you <laughs> yeah, got going on. Like yeah, uh, smooth. The first weekend in March, we're going to be doing a retreat style event. The tickets actually are available now. What? Um, uh, on uh, you can go to the Redesign with Prima website through my link, and I'll throw this up afterwards. If you're interested, uh, put a comment in and I'll, I'll hit you guys with the link after when I get off because that link did finally go up this week and I'm going to be there with Chelsea from Apple Blossom Way and we are working on planning stuff. I'm taking requests if there's something you guys really want to learn. Like a DJ? Yeah. Oh. I'm in the planning stages so this is a this is a great time. If there's something that people really want and you are going to be coming, then tell me and I'll try to incorporate that. All right, so that is my final coat of paint on that one side. So now I'm gonna let that dry and we're gonna come to the front and we're gonna start doing the detail work on the front of this. So I have two coats on this oh, the entire- Oh, Oh, hi, Adeline. That's my other niece, you guys. That's my three-year-old niece. She has another- Of course, another... I can't talk. She won't even look at me. Yeah. <laughs> she probably ran from the phone. Doesn't... Well, she just has a long warm-up period for you every time. I don't know. She's probably just a really good judge of character. I would agree. <laughs> um, for these legs, all I'm going to do is I'll take my main body color, and I'm just going to paint these. And these will take two coats. I'm not going to prime them. It's a light-colored wood, and I'm using a dark color paint, so I'm not worried about them bleeding. They're already nice and uh, smooth sanded. Um, so I don't feel like I need any oh, man. primer on these legs. Brenda's uh, listening while she's driving, so we'll try oh, not to make this too visual. Yeah. Watch out! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy! Uh, I hate that my kids will do that. Oh my gosh! And they're like, somebody said something mean to me at school today. I'm like, you cannot do that when I'm driving. <laughs> Oh, so, so Adeline's talking to you, but uh, she doesn't realize. So Tana keeps telling her that you can't hear her. I can't hear you, sweet girl. I can't hear you. I love you. It's kind of a bummy auntie. So um, she she prefers my kids anyway. She likes talking to the boys. They love her. 
it's good because we needed that little bit of balance. My sister got girls and I got boys, so uh, we need a little bit of girl energy in our house, and uh, she needs some boy energy in hers. Um, Tan, I will tell you something. You guys want to just listen to me talk to my sister? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tana, uh, Noah, Noah's my oldest son. He, um, he finished his last test to become a a deputy in our sheriff's, uh, our junior sheriff's program, which is called Explorers. So he gets to get pinned next month. He's actually like an official, like junior sheriff. Um, and Tan, we were asking who he would want to come and he, and he brought up you and Sean. So. Well, somebody's got to hold the door open. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if you guys would want to. He was pretty excited though, because he thought of, of his uncle Sean, like, that he could, he'll be able to share this experience with them. So I thought that was kind of cool that he wanted to include him. All right, so that will be what my legs look like and those will go in the four corners and then I'll add waxes and gilding waxes and stuff to kind of decorate those. So I got four legs to paint. I don't think it's gonna stand. I don't think so? No, no. All right, well, let me hold, hold it. Can you hold this? <laughs> or can you stand it on the hard floor? It might stand up by itself. No, it's too. I don't know how to say this properly, but it's too top heavy. <laughs> Yes, yes I am. All right, so the other thing I did, and this is a good example for you guys to be able to see the difference between what just the paint does and then adding waxes to it. So I added some black wax to this side and that side is just the paint. Can you see them both in the camera frame? Well, I'm trying to, but then you like to... Hold on. There we go. Okay. Okay, so that way you can see the contrast between what the, the waxes add to the paint, what the difference is. So we're going to go over to that side and we're going to repeat the waxes that I have over here. So I'm just using black wax. and Just message Tana on the date and time. Okay, cool. Now I'm officially a receptionist. Yeah, what else can cool. I ask my sister about while everybody else listens? <laughs> okay, and then let me show you guys what I have out to do this. So I've got my black wax. And then I'm gonna have three brushes that I use. And this is just a little tiny, super cheap artist brush. This is gonna get me into the detail areas. I'm using these guys because I had picked up a whole bunch for my class last month and I've got a bunch left over. So I'm totally making use of them Come for in. waxes. They're not worth, you know, they're probably worth pennies each. I'm trying to get in so close. I, I bought them in bulk. Thinking. These are um, some of my favorite wax brushes. I have these in my Amazon shop. I love these guys, use them all the time. I They do wear down after t over time, so I do have to replace them periodically. And then this is just really, a slightly larger artist brush. You really gave me a quality uh, stand here, huh? I, you know you what, got all crazy on it. That, that <laughs> wow. tripod. I mean, that's my best tripod, but I think I need to replace it. it uh, it's well loved. All right, I'm gonna take that medium sized artist brush and I'm just gonna ride the very edges of this inside frame is what I'm gonna do first. Sorry if it's bouncing around you guys. Man, does anybody else feel nauseous? Oh you feel like you're on a roller coaster? Yeah. That's of, just my daily life. Speaking of roller coasters, my son is, my middle son is in band and they have to go to a, an amusement park and they're doing like a band competition. And so they need parent chaperones and I was like, you know, I was talking to him and he was like, yeah, I'd like you to be a parent chaperone. And I thought, I thought that was pretty cool, like, that you still want your mom to go with you on a field trip. Is nobody catching on that dad doesn't get these in, offerings? In middle school. I was like, okay, I'll try to, I'll try to chaperone your field trip. Um, and then they sent home the, like, paper that says what you have to do. It's from, <laughs> it's from 5 oh, a.m. in the morning. <laughs> so, till 10 p.m. No, no, I'm cool. Yeah. Till 10 p.m. at night. <laughs> with a group of from band at an amusement park and I was like wow that is pure torture only moms can attend long yes. time at an amusement park part of that's the driving time on you know for the buses but I was like oh my gosh what am I even, it's in another state what am I even thinking? <laughs> all right now I'm coming back with this brush I did not add any wax to it I just laid that little bit on with my artist brush oh I would agree I think it's probably my dad jokes that keep me from getting the invite <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need, um, I need to tell more than <laughs> exactly. There's What's some... Sean doing at five o'clock in the morning? Oh, I'm sleeping. <laughs> Give me some mom jokes. <laughs> I have to embarrass my kids a little bit more. Okay, and I'm just smoothing this wax out. Okay, this is on raw paint, you guys. Um, 
I have found that I really like how waxes go on raw paint, but here's what I'm going to tell you. I only got one shot. If I mess this up, it is really hard to get it off without messing my paint up and having to touch it up again. So what I recommend if you're not totally confident in waxing is to put a clear coat on before this. And it can be uh, either a, uh, a water-based clear coat or your clear wax. And then if you mess up your, your dark wax, you can take it back off. I am putting this on raw paint right now. I just really like how the paint grabs onto the wax. Um, and I like how it smooths it out. And so I've started putting paint on raw wax, but I totally know that if I mess this up, I don't have another chance. I've got to basically touch my paint up. Oh, thank you for the stars, Brenda. Oh, thank you. Good entertainment. Okay. I know, and Brandy came too. <laughs> yeah. So who wants to go to the amusement park with me? <laughs> Oh, I don't know, yeah, 500 any, kids? Any volunteers? Yes, I, and musical instruments. <laughs> yes. and, and musical instruments. No, no, yeah. there's more. That's like a bad wow. infomercial. My son plays the trumpet, by the way. The trumpet. So, uh, you're welcome. Yeah, we're doing that. I feel like you don't get enough bonding time with the boys. So basically, so. that little bit of wax that I put on with the artist brush is enough <laughs> on my surface to just work it out with this brush. I didn't have to add any. This brush starts picking it up and I don't wash this out every time. You can kind of see it doesn't have a lot of wax on it, but it's just it's just enough in there. Oh my god. So I can just smooth out that wax. Could always be worse. Right. Bush Gardens with your 10-year-old granddaughter rode six roller coasters. Right on. And... <laughs> Just now walking around without making popping noises. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, really? Yeah. <sighs> I did all the all the roller coasters and stuff at Disneyland, but Disneyland's rides are a little gentler. This is Six Flags, and um, their rides are a little hardcore. So I probably I probably have to say no to some. Your favorite ride? I don't know. Some Teacup. Them, oh geez, yeah, that was the only one that I was oh, like, man. oh yeah. I didn't feel nauseous. It actually messed up my head. That's It messed my head up more. And that oh, I can see it. When you're putting your head in the camera way, I can see yeah. where it messed you up. So now I'm going to I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm just going to outline. I'm using my smallest brush here. And I'm just going to outline the very outer edge of this medallion. I do want to put black wax on this medallion. But I think I'm going to wait until after I have clear coat on for the center of the medallion. Because... I'm going to need to wipe it away from all the high points and I'm not going to be able to do that very well on raw paint. So while I am decorating this on raw paint for that center of the medallion, I'm going to put my black wax on after. And then same thing, I'm going to come back with my larger brush and I'm going to smudge this out. Hmm. The cheetah must be, I'm going to guess it's a ride. I mean, at first glance, I was a like, cheetah? oh, there's no way somebody's riding a cheetah. But riding a cheetah zero to <laughs> 70 in about three seconds. I don't know. You put me on a plane. Yeah, an actual I, cheetah? Because I kind of like be a field down, with a I'd cheetah. Down for that. Yeah. I'd, I'd give it a try. I mean, I've seen Naked and Afraid. I'd probably just do it. <laughs> I'm going in. I get hungry enough. <laughs> very, very afraid. Um, I'm just really rubbing that black wax. A little bit of black wax, just like a little bit of black paint goes a long way a little bit of black wax goes a long way too this is barely any wax so our six flags here uh, all the rides are themed after uh superheroes like S superman wonder woman well yeah, they have the six joker flags. That's six flags. it's all six it's yeah that's all of them okay yeah. whatever whatever but this one i, I think it was lois was talking about bush garden oh okay <clears throat> we didn't make it to bush gardens when we were no, in florida totally. we had thought about going there but we ended up doing all of No, I just Disney. want to go, just so I can say I rode a cheetah. <laughs> yeah, we did all the Disney parks instead. All, what is there, five of them, four of them? Epcot and all that. All right, so that's kind of what I'm going for. I do need to add, so, so let me show you. This is a little bit darker. And that's because what I did is after I got my wax all smudged out, I came into my low points again and I just darkened the very corner. So I give that a new bead of nice, fresh, dark wax. Use this little bit bigger brush. Oh man, I don't know. I, I, 
zero to 70 in three seconds, I'd have to go back and get yeah, my stomach. See, I, I'm out for that. Those are going to be the ones I'll just watch the kids and I don't know. I'll just, I'll just be like, I'm just here to chaperone. I'm not actually writing. I don't even know if I'm Those aren't the bad ones for me though. It's that, what was that one? It was that the, you know, cars or, uh, it was like the Luigi one. <laughs> like it bounces oh, me yeah. around. That's what I got <laughs> yeah, a problem like with. tiny baby ride. Like gyroing like, you around. It was like a tiny baby ride. No, that's like, the one that makes me queasy. Like Adeline would have fun on that ride. Upside down, no, fast, no big deal. Not... That stuff, no. Oh, I'm saying what I can handle. The upside down and the fast is fine. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing back around the center again. Just give it that nice dark. So let's uh, let's bring it back. The wax that you're using? Uh, this is Jolie wax. Uh, this is also very similar to Annie Sloan wax. So those would be two that I, uh, I just like the, it's a nice firm wax. Um, I use Wiseau paint. I like the Wiseau wax. If I'm doing like an all over application, it's a very soft wax. That's why. So, so if I was doing an all over application, of course you want it nice and creamy and buttery so you can just put it all over. But when I'm trying to just put it in a dedicated area, I want a really hard firm wax. Annie Sloan, Mrs. Jolie, they both do it really well. Okay. Now, yes. special request that you have to abide by. What? Adeline wants you to talk to her. Oh, <laughs> Adeline, did you go to school today? Are you feeling better? You were you were sick last time I talked to you. See, I can't hear her her reaction. So really? It's kind of like a um, I don't know. It's kind of a. Should stuff. I reenact it? Should I just tell her about myself? Feel like I, <laughs> I just want to talk Adeline, about myself. Adeline, do you just want to hear about Auntie Brandy? <laughs> I'm gonna sit off camera. And... <laughs> All right, what and then what I did is on these corners where I have the black that I put in with the paint, I came back with the tiniest bit of black wax. So all I do is tap, tap, tap. I don't even dig it. And then I still lay that off on the side because I want barely any black wax. So you can't dig it? Yeah, <laughs> can you dig it? All right, and then I'm just going to very softly darken up those corners just a tiny bit more. I don't know if you can tell the difference where I did and where I didn't darken it. It's so subtle, but I just like how it, that's what dark waxes do. They can change the color of your paint, but in a very subtle way. So I'm using the waxes here to do that. Just emphasize where I put that black paint a little bit more. Oh, Susan wants to know how the floodwaters are. Oh man. <clears throat> I don't know if I, got, I know some of you guys who watch are in California, but we have been getting hit hard. Which I almost feel like, oh, I don't know, like it, it's weird for me to complain about how hard we're getting hit because it's normal for the rest of the country, well, but and, it's not, and not here. A, not only that, but I do want to say like we've been really lucky in all of it. I mean, California as a whole has as a been whole. hit, hit yeah. hard. Oh, us in particular, we have been extremely fortunate in that. Uh, the worst thing we had was one of our gazebos got hit by a tree. One of our trees fell and took out a gazebo in our backyard. It's okay. I ordered a new one. It's just arrived today. So we'll get that um, fixed, and that's not a big deal. But um, our power hasn't gone out, which is amazing because, like, half a million people in California lost power, and some of them like crazy a, lightning for, like, storms that we've week. had? Like nuts. Yeah, the lightning, the wind. I thought for sure we were going to lose power by now. I can handle the rain. The winds have been 60 mile an hour winds, and we had three storms back to back, all brought 60 mile an hour winds. So it was like a week straight of just, you know, I sit at night, we have a metal roof, listening to it pelt the roof and the, the 60 mile an hour winds, and you just think your windows are going to blow out. It's that strong, you know. Susan, what state are you in? She's in a state of emergency due to tornadoes. Is it Susan Batson? Scroggs. Oh, I don't know where Susan, I don't know where she's at. Because <clears throat> um, Su uh, Susan Batson is in California. Yeah. I know that. Oh, yeah, because you met her in Southern California. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to lightly carry it up on here. So I'm just super little wax. You guys, waxes are really fun to play around with. And oh, I Bama. love mm. what waxes add to paint. Down in Alabama. Okay, so can you see it's a little bit more, just, just drama. I haven't done the center section yet, so bear with me. I'll get to that. But I wanted to, where are we in time? Ah, I don't think I'm going to get to it, you guys. I wanted to put some of our transfer on tonight, but I think with the legs and the paint and the and the wax, I don't think I'm going to get to huh. transfer. Oh! Mother man said you guys, we've had in California, have had 66% 
Uh, or hold on. Had about 66% of yours rain uh, with those three storms. Oh, you want to hear my opinion on that? Who wants Probably to hear 60... my opinion on that? Well, we're going to hear yeah. what? What's <laughs> yeah. good? Yeah, I'm telling no, you. No, no. I'm not yeah. going to share it. Yeah. Um, yeah we're going to we go have. through all of this. We have had that. And we will still be in a drought this again. Because yep. California does not store water. We don't have enough water storage. It just runs out to the ocean. So we will have all this rain and it will we will still be in a drought every year. They have not built new water storage in California since 1979. Um, and even though we passed a, a bond measure for it in 2014, we passed a bond measure to build water storage and still have not built water storage. So anyway. Oh, Susan. Uh, this is Susan Badson. Pick your battles because uh, we had some tornadoes out of that last storm. Oh, we don't yeah. get them. Yeah, we had tornadoes. a couple of them up this way. Okay, I'm just gonna show this to you guys because we didn't get to this tonight, but I, this is the transfer that I'm gonna use on here. And the colors on this are absolutely gorgeous. Um, huh, what's that like that? Huh, part of this transfer is stuck under the back. I don't know why. Never had that happen. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll leave, I'll lose this portion right here. I just saw that the clear backing sheet was a little weird on my transfers. So I'm going to lose that little piece right there. But I want to take this transfer and I'm going to wrap it and it's going to go onto the side. It'll come probably down the front a little bit. So I'm going to create some swags of this transfer. You guys want to do this with me next week? Are you going to make me wait again to do the transfer with you? I just want to work on this piece. Yeah. Dang it. All right, so, so you can kind of envision, but the colors in this transfer are gorgeous against this deep plum. It's got this rich terracotta color. It's got some purples in there, some burgundies, and then it's got a gold in it. Burgundies. So, so okay. I will have to choose some pieces of this transfer to use, and then I'll kind of, that's a pretty piece right there. And then I'll swag it around and cut it all apart, and that's how I'm going to do the transfer on this. So, but I talk too much tonight. Oh, man. I don't know. We just get tonight, away, huh? And every night. Really? Oh, I missed my cue on that I one. I really don't know why you guys even watch anymore. All right. Well, let me move these, and you can at least see where we're leaving the front of this. I will finish the waxes on this section and on the sides, and then I guess we'll come back next week and do the. We're going to see how I cut this transfer up and lay it out on the on a piece like this. What's the name of that transfer? Uh, this is Rose, Roses and Rouge from Redesign with Prima. And you can do that over wax? Um, okay. So, you, I'm, this, <laughs> always, this always PSA is time. an issue. Yes. Okay. There's lots of ifs about the wax. Are you supposed to? No. Everybody will tell you, no, you cannot do it. I do it all the time. All the time. Wax is a resist. So, if you put wax over your entire piece, it will resist a transfer. Um, in theory, if you're using an oil-based wax, it should be the last thing you put on, okay? But I'm going to tell you, I decorate with waxes on every piece, and I always put clear coat over the top, okay? So I will still put, the reason that, I'm, gonna, that I am able to do that is because I use so little wax. It is so little to make this much decoration on here. It's not all over. It's not a heavy wax at all. It is very little and I buff away all the excess. So, I mean, I'm just like dry brushing over the top and I will be able to put a clear coat over this and I promise you it works. So I get that question all the time. If you look in the rules book, it's gonna tell you no, can't, don't, but I do. So it's one of those things where there's gonna be things that people tell you no, but if it works for you, then it works. This is art, you guys, and there's no right or wrong way to do some things. I'm also playing with a tolerance. So I know that I can't do too much or I would totally not be able to get a transfer on this, um, but it will stick because it's so little that I put on there. You're okay. No, <laughs> I know, I know. The bombs aren't I, dropping. I get so much grief for that all the time and I'm like, I promise you guys, I promise it works. But I, but I also, it's hard for me because then also representing brands like Prima, you know, it's my job to say, no, it's not recommended to put a transfer over wax because it's not going to stick if you put too much wax on there. So, you know, I am playing with allowances and, and just be aware that it's not the manufacturer's recommendation. Yeah, is that my disclaimer? Can you put that out at the bottom of the screen so it flashes across? 
I don't I think really I'm going to have enough. After all these disclaimers, I'm not going to have enough room to put you on camera. <laughs> really, just... really small print that nobody can actually read. It's going to sound like the end of a car commercial. Yeah. <laughs> or like, <laughs> or, or yeah, tell people that it's going to like give them stomach aches and headaches like a like a pharmaceutical oh, commercial. Yeah, yeah. You, you're having <laughs> stomach pain. Take this pill. But this <laughs> pill will create your leg to fall off, your arm to... Yeah. <laughs> Everything's worse than yeah. what you have in the like, first Like, wait a minute. Place. I'll just yeah. take my stomach pain. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys, I'm going to pop off. This piece is looking incredible. I keep wanting to just binge paint it, and I, but I want to finish it live with you guys too. So uh, thanks for hanging out. You guys, I will um, I will post in. I'll, I'll throw up the link for this transfer in the comments. I'll throw up the link for the event, which is the first weekend of March, uh, Temecula, California. It's going to be a retreat-style event, so there will be an option that has lodging available where we're all going to stay. There's uh, it's a... It's a vineyard property that uh, Prima owns. And, How long are you going to be there? Um, I'm going to be there for five days. I just need to schedule for my party. Yeah, but it's going to be two days for the public and then two days for their yeah, retailers. Everything. So you guys will see me as public for two days. And then if you're what, if you're a Wise Owl paint or a Redesign with Prima retailer, there will be a, a separate event for another two days after. Um, so yeah, I'll be staying on the property. Chelsea will be staying there. Uh, we're going to cook at night and do social events together too. So this one's incorporating a social aspect. That, and so I'm excited for that because I think the social aspect is probably equally important, if not more important than, than painting sometimes. Sometimes like we just want to feel a community and not be on social media all the time and actually connecting with real people. So I'm excited for the social aspect of this and the connecting and, um, and all that so we have fun stuff planned for those times too all right you guys i'm gonna pop off stay dry have a great weekend thanks for making me hold out on my cedar chest again i'll catch you guys next week <laughs>